So today I want to talk about XLM and price suppression. Now let's be honest here. Let's look at the screen and see since May, right? XLM has gone under a huge price correction. Now mind you, since that time we've learned about MoneyGram, we've learned about CBDC projects, we've learned about Bank of International Settlements, we've learned of a ton of things that would normally drive the price up. But FUD in the marketplace is allowing those out there that are in control and in power to buy now and to buy it cheaper ways and I'm gonna show you why they're doing this and how. All right, so check it out. I have an article, Bank of Russia seeks to outlaw mining and trading of crypto. All right, cool, not a big deal. We've heard about this, all right? Now let's look and see. This article, stop bud, that was my dog. This article was published January 20th. All right, so now in January 20th, let's just take a quick look here. We could see if we go to January 20th, uh-oh, that's when the price really started tanking here on Stellar, right? It's right around this point right here is where the big bar happened, right? This was this, Russia seeks to outlaw mining and trading of crypto. FUD, 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 and here's why. Because wait, two weeks later, Russia decreed crypto as a currency and not a digital asset yep here we go putin steps in and says russia shares plan to regulate bitcoin crypto so the fud is the articles proposed early that say hey russia china are going to ban crypto to lower the market to give the big wigs time to buy yep because guess what they all bought during this time and then what happens they come out two weeks later and saying you know what no we're not going to ban it we're going to treat it as a currency we're going to regulate it and we're going to tax it there are crypto FUD articles like this all over the internet. And I swear the only purpose of these articles is to mess with your confidence in your favorite tokens. So I want you to think of it this way. Look at the crypto market as a whole. Look at where we were price-wise in April and May. Let's take Stellar for specifics, okay? Since April and May, Stellar's programs and partnerships have exploded. Some of the biggest names out there have gotten involved with Stellar and it hasn't moved the price. Trading on fundamentals? I think not. We call that trading on FUD. And as long as we keep seeing articles like this, Bank of Russia seeks to outlaw crypto, blah, 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 and weeks later to see the same people going out there approving, regulating, and taxing crypto, that's the FUD out there, and the FUD is meant to separate you from your money. So I'm going to leave you a screen and screen and say, don't fall victim to the FUD. Read in between the lines, do your research, and see and learn the products that you believe in and why you believe in them. If you hold strong to your conviction and you know why you're holding, the FUD won't mess you up. All right, take care.